Hey guys, welcome to A Levels Demystified, and this time we're gonna be talking about the age old A Levels or FSA for students aspiring for MBBS in Pakistan. So, maybe you're a student who has just cleared his O-Levels and is about to start his A-Levels or has already enrolled. Or maybe you're a person who has started his, his A-2. Either way, you may have heard these unsolicited comments from people about um, your chances of getting into a government college and the impact your being an A-level student has on that. And there is probably a measure of truth to what they are saying or not, depending on the person. Whatever the case may be, you're probably really troubled and maybe a bit double-minded. The purpose of this video is to lay on the table all the pros and cons, the realities and the speculations related to this um, this really complicated topic. So you probably know a bit about what MDCAD is, but I'll give you a preview. So MDCAD stands for Medical and Dental Admission Test. And in the Punjab, it is held once every year by the UHS, which is the University of Health Sciences in Lahore. And this test, is um, for the people who want to or the people who have a Punjab domicile reciprocal seats are available for the other provinces but that is another problem altogether so you probably know or have heard from people or you may have an inkling is that this test is entirely based on the FSC syllabus and you may have some idea of the vast difference in the syllabus content A levels and FSC and yes there is a huge difference and maybe at the stage that you are the thought of having to go over that from the start before the test might be um really overwhelming but i'll clear a bit of a confusion not all of the FEC content is included. I would say maybe 50%, maybe a bit less. So it's not all of it. Quite a bit of it, and I might even say the more difficult parts for a A-level student are not part of the syllabus. So hopefully that eases your mind somewhat. But let's not get the wrong idea. There is still a lot of coursework, a lot of it which we're entirely unfamiliar with. And if you choose to go with the A-levels route, you're going to have a limited amount of time and quite a lot of syllabus. You're going to have to keep that in mind. Um, but the thing is, it's not impossible to cover all of that in a few months, in one or two months. It's more than possible. I've done it successfully. My brother has done it successfully. A lot of people who have done A-levels have been able to achieve their dreams. But if you're going to think that it's going to be easy, it's not. There are a total of about, this is an estimate, 60,000 students who appear for the MDCAT each year. But the number of seats in government colleges is over.